Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, members. Um, thank you, Representative Phillips, for letting us uh, do this for you. Um, we get, uh, we get, kindly, we get notices from the Speaker's office when one of our colleagues has, is going through a family uh, loss. And uh, Larry, Larry Phillips is my friend. He is very different from me in many different ways. Um, but I felt with uh, Mother's Day coming up that it was appropriate to say to Larry that we, we know your, your pain and uh, all of us only get one mom. And when it comes to family and loss, this body knows no party and no division. So I thank um, Larry and his family for letting us do this. And I, in the memory of a woman with a tremendous name, Patsy Ruth Willingham Phillips Alexius, I thank her for, um, for bringing two children in, into this world uh, and one um, especially grouchy and brilliant one <laughs> named Larry Phillips, who can go from uh, curmudgeon to softy in, in a heartbeat. <laughs> so um, it's Mother's Day weekend. Yesterday was especially difficult, and if, like me, you're still processing what happened yesterday, I hope that we will um, uh, bear in mind that um, we are ultimately all family and that we are all going through our, our own special walk. And uh, in the memory of Patsy Ruth Willingham Phillips Alexius, I, I say to uh, Larry and his family who are here in the gallery, if you will please stand, we welcome you and, and we are uh, sorry for your loss and we appreciate you for being here today. So, Larry, I better stop there because I'm getting choked up myself. But thank you. Do you recognize Representative Phillips? Celia, thank you so much. What a sweet thing to do. And I just want to offer this up for all of us who have lost our moms coming up to Mother's Day. Uh, I was blessed. Uh, one of the emails I, or texts I got very quickly was Patricia Harless. She said, it's tough to lose your number one fan. And my mom was my number one fan. It's great to have got my stepdad, Bob Alexius. My wife's here. And, my daughter Mary Beth's over there. It's, uh, my sister wasn't able to make it, and uh, my other kids are uh, are busy. My uh, yeah, my middle son's graduating tomorrow. We're going to Baylor and see him walk across stage. So it's gonna be tough not to have mom see that. Uh, my mom was an awesome lady, and I'll tell you what. Uh, I had no idea back in the mid '70s. One night on Sunny Day, I was sitting over here. And they actually moved the clock down so they could keep passing bills. That clock right there, the sergeant laid over. Because she worked as a citizen to get a licensure bill passed for her profession. And some people say, well, why do you need government, right? We debate about that. But when counselors and those that get paid for it, uh, they should have some responsibilities and some ethics and some things that we know that good people are doing that. Because when you show up, whether you're a student talking to a school counselor, or someone trying to get marriage counseling or whatever, we need to make sure that those people that are providing that uh, are ethics, have ethics, uh, that they understand what their duties are and what lines to cross. Uh, the first session, I wish uh, Dean Craddock was here, his good friend Bill Severa killed their licensure act uh, on a point of order. So I learned what a point of order on or when I was uh, quite young. Subsequently, they worked to pass it, so she would leave school with some counselors from this area and around the state and would come and they would meet with us, the same people, just think about it a generation ago. They'd bring cookies and bread and those kind of things and they would visit with the staffers and they finally got a state rep to take up the cause and then it grew from there and it took them a couple, two sessions. And she was honored, her friend Bonnie, who passed away, got a... Uh, she got license number one and my mom got license number two. We don't know if they flipped a coin or how that was done. Um, but uh, she was quite a, a lady and, and uh, um, 
you know, it was a, a tough year for me. My mom died and then her brother, my uncle, who had no kids, died three weeks later and then uh, two days before Christmas, uh, my dad had an episode where he uh, was ter permanently paralyzed and he's fighting through that. So, so I thought I was gonna lose all of them in one year. Uh, but God's been sufficient through all of this uh, with friends. And so we may lose family, but we certainly have friends. And I count all of you my friends. Uh, so many of y'all that came and um, lifted me up through that time and through tough times over the last eight sessions have meant a lot to me. Um, you know, it was not lost on the congregation at the funeral when I talked about my mom would have gotten a real kick knowing that uh, those big beautiful flowers at front came from the Republican caucus because she didn't share my party. But it was awesome that, and her friends knew what involvement she was in politics in this area, and uh, we got a kick out of that. Thank you all for letting us take this time this morning to honor my mom. Uh, she was a special lady. Uh, she uh, cared about uh, her faith, her family, and her friends, and she always lifted them up. God bless you all. Thank you.